All right, what's up y'all? Welcome to our channel. So today we kind of wanted to make a little video talking about the COVID vaccine because we both have gotten our vaccines. Yep. I got my second shot like two days ago. And I got mine like, ooh, like four months ago. I've been vaccinated for a while. Yeah, so um, we kind of just wanted to tell like how it affected us. Um, to start, I guess we'll say that I, for me, I was forced by the army to get it. Um, that's what made me end up getting or receiving the vaccine. I did not necessarily make the choice. Not saying that I'm necessarily for or against it. Uh, did they force you or did you get it on your own? Um, so I was, okay, I um, did both. So I, I kind of was forced to get it. Um, however, I am for the vaccine personally. Actually, I'm, it's a little mixed. I'm for it, but I'm also, I also understand if you don't want it. So, I don't know. So yeah, for me, like, I'm the type, like, I'm not going to say no, you shouldn't get the vaccine. But I'm also kind of at that point where, like, I just, I feel like there's not enough research or long-term testing to fully, um, I guess, trust it or make it safe. But it is, you know, FDA approved and everything. So that's why I'm not, you know, freaking out or completely upset about it because like I said I'm not completely against the vaccine or anything and I think if you you know if you believe that you should get it then you should get it and I don't think you know <laughs> I mean personally for me I feel like you know I think it's your choice if you want the vaccine or not however I don't think I think people should be aware that if they don't get it they could be denied like other stuff like you know how kids have to get vaccinated before they go to school or something like that uh, flights losing certain jobs that are like around primarily sick people, like nurses, if nurses don't get vaccine, vaccinated. I don't know how I feel about that, but. Yeah, so. um. But the symptoms. Yeah, so I think we each kind of experienced a little bit of different symptoms. For me, I got the P Pfizer or Pfizer vaccine. Mm -hmm. um, the first dose for me didn't really do anything other than having a little soreness in the arm. And the second dose, the one I, that I got a few days ago, <laughs> pretty much like destroyed me for like a day or two. Um, yeah. Like the first few hours I was fine. It wasn't having any symptoms, anything like that. But then um, probably like about five or seven hours later is when I started getting a fever, having like really bad chills and stuff, mm -hmm. headache, uh, nauseousness, pretty much all the symptoms is what I was having in throughout the whole night and Pretty much almost the next day. He was definitely mil <laughs> milking it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was pretty bad. Um, I mean, I'm pretty much fine now. Um, yeah, it was like only, what, like 10 hours of like you felt like crap. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. But it definitely was not fun. Yeah, for <laughs> me, I, I didn't have any symptoms. My first one, I got, I didn't get the Pfizer. I got, uh, what is it, the Mater Moderna. Moderna. Yeah, Moderna. And um, the first shot, I don't really remember because it was a while ago, but I'm pretty sure I was okay because I worked like a couple days after. And then the second shot, I actually, I got the second shot and then I had the de that day off and then I worked five days in a row. And all I experienced was soreness of arm. You know, my arm was just really sore, but I wasn't nauseous. I wasn't getting heat flashes. I wasn't having a fever at all. I mean, it could also be that we had different shots, different types. But personally, for me, I didn't experience really any symptoms. Yeah, so I mean, I guess one thing we can say, like, if it's, if is if like symptoms are one of the things that's kind of keeping you from getting the vaccine, don't let that stop you. I mean, yeah. I'm sure not that many people think that, but don't let that stop you. Um, in the end, just make whatever choice you believe is best for you. Yeah, this isn't a pro or non-pro or you know, this isn't like. This, we're not trying to push an agenda to either force or force people or not make force not yeah. force people because I mean we personally didn't make the choice to get the vaccine yeah. we were forced to get the vaccine. I mean I pro I probably would eventually got it but on my own and without the army but you know the army didn't take that choice away from me even though I would have probably ended up there. Yeah. But but yeah everybody so we just kind of wanted to share our little insight on how. We, our experience with getting the vaccine went and, you know, our thoughts on the whole thing. Yeah. So let us know down in the comments what you guys think. Um, and I hope y'all have a great day. Stay safe. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.